everyone this is Tom Stuckelman and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the setting of the arc output when milling a circle in Masticam X7. For this example I have drawn up a 2 inch circle and I'm using a half inch end mill to mill the inside of that circle. Now when you post out the code for a circle like this you can control the output of getting a point for all four quadrants or either the top and the bottom 180 degree points or just one point on that circle. So let me show you where to go to make this change. Alright so in your operations manager you have a folder that says files. Click on files and then you see the edit button and click on the exclamation point that brings you into the machine definition manager then find this icon that says edit the control definition click on it and then right here on the left click on arc and then we have arc breaks and right now it is set to only give you one point for a circle that is in the X and Y plane so when we post that out let's take a look and see what the code looks like alright so let's post this out and let's take a look we're gonna call this no arc breaks save alright so this is what the code looks like when you get no arc break the first G3X0Y.750 is the arc lead-in so the end mill is now at the top of the circle so then this one line that you get the I0 J minus 0.750 is the only code necessary to make a complete circle and then we arc out to X minus 187.5 Y.6998 alright so let's change that to where we get two points one at the top and one at the bottom of the circle alright so let's go back through those steps right here in your operations manager click on the files then click on the exclamation mark next to edit and then click on edit the control definition click on arc and now we're gonna unclick the XY plane allow 360 degree arcs and then in this pull down menu set it to break at 180 degrees then click on OK the data was possibly changed do you want to save the changes for the machine group yes then click OK click OK and let's post this out now we're going to do circle 180 degrees OK and let's take a look at that code alright so as you can see we now have two points on the circle first of all we start with a lead-in which puts the end mill at the top of the circle then the very next line we have the 180 degree move to the bottom of the circle then the next line 180 degree move to the top of the circle and then back to the arc lead out alright so let's take a look and see one more change where we get four points on a circle alright so once again we're gonna click on the files I'm gonna click on the exclamation mark click on the edit the control definition icon click on arc click on the pull down menu and select break at quadrants then click OK say yes click OK click OK and let's post out and see what that code looks like I'm gonna call this circle four quadrants save yes let's take a look at that code alright so here's the code showing the four points on the circle starting with the lead-in move and then the first point on the circle being at nine o'clock going to six o'clock three o'clock and twelve o'clock on that circle and then back to the lead out move alright so that's how easy it is to change the output of the arcs in Mastercam X7 I hope this information was helpful to you thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one